Today, I am going to discuss a topic about logout. Currently, where the people are using the logout option for the users. And uh, next thing is, I am going to talk about the best practices of using the logout option. Let's get started. Hello all, I am Rambal from Aspera. It's a happy to see you again. So the today topic is logout. So currently, where is the best practice the people they are using the logout option? The first best case scenarios are the automatic logout option enabled for all the financial related applications, which includes banking, investments, trading, mutual funds related applications. So these applications are enabling the automatic logout option for the users. So reasons are the users are they are investing their money or saving their money in their bank account and they want to use that account on a very safe mode. For that reasons, these apps are enabling the logout option by default. Alright, so this is the only area where the logout options are enabled for the users by automatically. Alright, so now we are going to look for where the logout options are enabling for the users in the current scenario. Currently, most of the applications are keeping this logout option for the users in the My Account sections. In this My Account section, having a various aspects of managing the accounts options. For example, they want to manage the profile and they want to manage the payment options and the help and disk or help and FAQs. So they are showcasing or they are having a n number of options. They keep it under the my account sections. But in the bottom of the section, they are keeping this logout option for the users. This is where the major problem arises for the product managers. So being an UX designer, you people are enabling the logout option for your users and uh, for them to access that logout option easily. I do agree all. But I'm going to talk about a few more detail about it. If you are going to take in the Swiggy app, they are also having a lot of options under the my account sections. And the final option they are enabling or they are showcasing for the logout option for their users. So if you are going to showcasing this kind of a logout options in the very last section in your list of items in the my account sections according to you that list this is the last item but according to the user how they are viewing your application so definitely they are going to viewing your application from the top to bottom scenario but which option they can able to easily access so they can able to easily access your logout option Reason is that logout option is very, very close to the user and that is a bottom of the screen. So that is available in the bottom of the screen. So that that is a very easy to accessible option for the users. So your users are not going to access any of your profile sections or any other setting sections. Simply they are going to click on the logout and they quit your application. That is a loss for the company or loss for the product. I am going to talk about a few metrics which we looked by the product managers. So the first metrics is cost per download. So cost per download is very simple. So I am going to give a small assumption data. So the company is spending about a 1 lakh rupee for uh, running a campaign and uh, encourage the user to download the applications. So basically somewhere around 500 people they are downloading this application out of this 1 lakh spending. So the cost per download is 200 rupees. So 500 people, they are downloading the applications at the cost of 1 lakh rupee. So 1 lakh divided by the 500, the cost will be around 200 rupees. So the cost per download metrics is 200 rupees. That is the company is spending 200 rupees amount to enabling the download for one user or getting one user to make them to download the application. So this matrix is called as a cost per download. All right, the user is downloading your application. So somewhere around 500 people, they download the app. So now the second metrics is cost per registrations. So for 500 people, they downloaded out of which 500 people, they are not going to using your application and registering themselves. So we are going to give one more assumption data. That is again, another 50% of the people from the downloaded app, they are the one who is going to register this application. So that is basically around 250 numbers. So the total cost invested was 1 lakh rupee and 250 people for registering your application. So the total cost for registration is around 400 rupees. So now the cost is double, right? So now the third metrics is we are going to enable. The third metrics is nothing but this is a 
cost per using your application one time. The 250 people, they registered in your application, but they are not sure about all the people are not going to using your application at least one time. So we are going to implement another assumption based data around uh, again 50% of the people only they are going to use your application at least one time. So again the number is 250 divided by 2 it's about uh, 125 people. So 125 users only using your application at least once. So now that the cost per using one time your app is somewhere around is a double the amount of 400 to multiplied by 2 is about 800 rupees. Alright, so now we are going to talk about the fourth matrix. This is called the CPA. CPA is nothing but the cost per acquisition. So this cost per acquisition is involved for the repeated users. The users are using your application repeatedly and they are performing their task in your application. So this is called the CPA. Again, that 125 numbers we are going to divide it into two. Again, the 50% of the people only they are going to using your application repeatedly. So out of 1 lakh rupee, only 60 people are using your application repeatedly. This is a almost current scenario which will be applicable in almost all the applications. So this is a major reason most of the app based companies or the product based companies, they are enabling for refer a friend or earn and refer or refer and earn options. Reason is if you are going to refer one of the friend and they are going to install in that application, you are getting some 100 rupees cashback. So very easy method to acquiring more users for the product. Alright, so we discuss a little later about the promotion strategies. But currently this is a scenario. If you are spending about a 1 lakh rupee, only 60 people are using your application on regular basis. So now you have to divide that cost. 1 lakh divided by 60 and what is the cost? So that is the cost per acquisition of the user. Alright, so this is a calculation calculated by the product managers. So now being an UX and UI designer, you are going to keep the logout option in the very bottom of the screen, which is easy to access by the users and the users also easily accessing the logout option and they quit the application. Alright, so now you got to understand the scenario why I was mentioning about the logout option is more crucial in the UX and UI design. Alright, so that should I keep my logout option? Yeah, so there is a lot of options are there. Either you have to uh, keep the logout option under the settings screen. So users are coming to your my account section. In this my account section, there is an option called settings. Under the settings, you have to keep your logout option so that the user cannot easily access or not a single click to access the logout option. So they have to figure out if they really want to log out from your application, they have to search and they have to find it out. So that is how you have to build your information architecture. This is a least priority oriented feature. I can suggest one more option. So you can keep the logout option on the my account section on the top right hand side. If you are keeping your logout option on the top right hand side corner, what will happen? User can be able to see that logout option by easily. but they cannot access that option easily. Reason is they have to using their two hands to click the logout option. So we are giving the power to the users. We are giving the option which is enable or which is visible to the users, but they cannot easy to access. So this is what my recommendations. I hope you understand this concept well. And if you have any thoughts, please sharing it on the comment sections. Currently, I'm going to signing off from you.